There's things that you could do at your desk to alleviate physical tension that builds up in your body, but equally you could do it on the train, on the bus, sat on the sofa, anywhere. So I'm just gonna show you a few examples of those exercises, things that you can do which will dramatically change how your body's functioning, okay? So all you need to do, you don't need to have anything out in front of you. Uh, put your pads and books down. Feet flat on the floor. Sitting nice and upright in your chairs. Now, if you find if you're a little bit short and you find it uh, hard to sit upright in chairs, just shuffle forwards, just so your feet are flat on the floor. And then I'm just going to demonstrate a few of these techniques. First thing I'd like you to do is have your hands down by your sides. So a simple stretch for the neck. The, fine, fine. The, sorry, the shoulders. My mistake. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and we're going to take a nice deep breath in. As we breathe in, we're going to pull our shoulders up to our ears. Now, once again, we're scientists. What do we need to do before we start? Be aware, be aware of where you are right now and be aware of what changes as we do this exercise. We'll take a nice, slow, deep breath in, pull our shoulders up to our ears. At the top of the breath, we hold the stretch on the shoulders for as long as it's comfortable. When we release the breath, we release the stretch. And did you all notice a bit of tension releasing across the top of the shoulders? We'll do that one more time. And release. Next one is a, a, a neck stretch. You link your hands together like this. Place them on the back of your head. We'll take a nice, slow, deep breath in. We'll fully exhale. And now pull the chin into the chest. You should all feel a nice stretch across the back of the neck. Hold the stretch and the breath for as long as it's comfortable. And release. Did you all feel that stretch on the back of your neck? Yeah. Now, it was originally part of the British Airways routine, but they rejected it because they said that's also the brace position. So it might not be the best thing to recommend for <laughs> people as a well being exercise. Next one, right hand. Place it on the left shoulder and squeeze. Squeeze across the top of the shoulder. You might find some sore or tight spots. You can focus a bit of energy and attention on that. Slowly start working your way down the arm. Get your hand, you give your hand a nice good squeeze. Twist and pull each finger one by one. You might hear some cracking and crunching. My gran used to tell me that causes arthritis. I subsequently learned that's complete rubbish. It's just gas being released from the joint. It's an old wives' tale about it being causing arthritis. Now, if we've done one side, what do we need to do to remain balanced? Yeah, Absolutely. Awesome. Does it feel pleasant? Yeah. I know it's nicer if someone else is doing it for you. <laughs> But you know, it's a really good point. Yeah. That what's the natural instinct? If you hurt yourself, what were you likely to do? Rub it. Rub it. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's a natural instinct. So if a child's hurt themselves, you rub it better. And actually, that, that rubbing, there's science behind it. Not just to make them feel better, but actually, that's um, stimulating the nerve endings is providing oxygenated blood to go to that area, which will promote healing. So actually, you know, touching yourself is good in an appropriate way. <laughs> and, and even stretching. You know, for those of you in the room that run, I know a fair few of you have run or do run. You know, if you've had a five or 10 mile run, you would think twice about stretching. Many of us are doing marathons on our arms all day long, but how many of us ever stretch our arms and our shoulders, even though we're working them so extensively? Something we don't even think about. You know, I might go for a, you know, when I run, I always, I, I go for regular sports massage on my legs, I might have a back massage. I don't think I've ever been to a professional massage therapist that can have an arm massage or a hand massage. I know sometimes ladies, when they get manicures, they get hand massage, but it's not something we often do. Yet we, you know, we, they do get used regularly. That overuse leads to repetitive strain injuries, carpal tunnel syndrome, other issues which are very difficult to resolve, but actually very easy to prevent. And I'll show you just a, a simple carpal tunnel stretch. Um, which is based on a yoga technique, um, exactly the one you're about to do in the So for, for those of you that do practice yoga, you'll know this one. So, uh, you know, technically you're supposed to do it down on your knees, but it's just an adaptation to do it at your desk. Now let me demonstrate, and it's important you demonstrate before you get to do it. You don't want anyone causing an injury before uh, in, the, in the class itself. So 
the ideal way to do it is to be able to, to get um, to, to get your uh, the palm of your hand down to your knees. Now that can be very difficult if you're trying to do both at the same time, especially if those muscles are particularly tight or tense. An easy way to adapt it is to do them one at a time. The key is arms straight, elbows locked, and you you should feel the stretch in your forearm. If you find that difficult, it's because those muscles are tight and tense and you should do it regularly, okay? So you can actually build up to them doing both of them together. The, 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 the yoga way of doing it is down in your knees and stretching both your hands away from yourself, okay? But the easy adaptation is to do them one at a time. Now, once we've done one side again, we need to reverse um, and do the other to remain balanced. So now we're attempting to, to, to get the back of the hand down to the knees or we're doing, gonna do them individually. Always making sure the arm is straight, elbow is locked. So for people that spend a lot of time using you know, keyboards and mice, this is a good stretch. Any of you find that particularly tight or tough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If so, do this regularly. You only need to do it for 20 seconds, two or three times a day. You could do it you know, whilst watching TV, whilst you're on hold. Sat on the toilet instead of checking your Blackberry. You know, <laughs> to, to, to really simple stretch to do, but it's something that can actually have quite profound results. Okay.